crypto hasn't been able to overcome its negative reputation. We all know that creating the original cryptocurrency and maintaining the security of its proof-of-work network requires a lot of energy, and cryptocurrency, especially Bitcoin, has a significant carbon footprint. Very large. Bitcoin. The statistics are easily accessible and commonly utilized in news stories. The largest digital assets network consumes as much as, or more electricity in a year than several countries. Recently, information has revealed that mining Bitcoin has become a less environmentally friendly activity since China's crackdown last year. This is because, despite the supply of coal, most Bitcoin mining took place in China, where miners could take advantage of excessive hydropower in the country's Sichuan and Yunnan regions during the rainy season. So, what can be done? Is Bitcoin bound to have a terrible reputation in environmental, social, and governance ESG circles for the rest of its life? Nope, not exactly. Zach Bradford is the CEO of CleanSpark, a Nasdaq-listed American startup that mines Bitcoin using renewable energy. For starters, Bitcoin is popular, but so is ESG. Big investors are showing greater interest in Bitcoin than ever before. They also a desire to invest in long-term investments. Not only are miners paying attention, but many companies want to be more environmentally friendly in order to attract the appropriate type of investor. Hey guys, welcome to another exciting video. In today's video, we'll be talking about crypto mining, ESG as well as the crypto mining ban in New York. But before we continue, kindly like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon to stay notified of more exciting videos just like this one. With that done, let's get right into the video. Before we begin, what is cryptocurrency mining? Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies use mining to generate new coins and validate new transactions. It involves massive decentralized networks of computers all over the world, verifying and securing blockchains, which are virtual ledgers that record Bitcoin transactions. Computers on the network are compensated with new coins in exchange for contributing processing power. It's a continuous cycle. Miners keep the blockchain secure, the blockchain awards new coins, and the coins create an incentive for miners to keep the blockchain secure. So, what are the processes involved in cryptocurrency mining? Crypto mining has two purposes. It creates new money and validates the authenticity of current cryptocurrency transactions on the blockchain. After the entire process of confirming a block of transactions is completed, the miner is compensated. And what do these miners get in exchange? they get newly created cryptocurrencies to supplement their wallets. A decade ago, anyone with a powerful home computer can mine bitcoins. However, as the blockchain has grown in popularity, so has the computing power required to keep it running. As a result, nearly all mining is now done by specialized companies or groups of people pooling their efforts. Specialized computers do the mathematics required to confirm and record each new crypto transaction, as well as safeguard the blockchain security. The blockchain requires a significant amount of computing power to validate. Companies purchase mining machinery and spend money on electricity to keep it running. For this to be profitable, the value of the mined coins must be higher than the cost of mining these coins. Energy must be sourced from somewhere for the mining of new bitcoins. Coal, gas, and petroleum are among the dirty energy sources that many operations rely on to mine crypto. A lot of the Bitcoin mining industry employs a sustainable electricity mix, according to the most recent data from the Bitcoin Mining Council, which indicates that this trend has already accelerated. The current issue is climate change. Everyone has a duty to contribute to ensuring that sustainability and green practices are adopted across society, from legislators to individuals. The recent COP26 United Nations Climate Change Conference served as a driving stimulus toward the aims of the Paris Agreement in spurring climate action. In fact, governments around the world, from the US to China, are progressively taking a proactive stance on climate change. Corporations are also stepping up to take on more responsibility, as investors no longer view financial performance alone as a reliable indicator of success. Instead, they are turning to ESG metrics, or measures of negative externalities, to ascertain the true worth of corporate activity for society. Ban on Crypto Mining Activities in China the miners took advantage of legal gaps, but were condemned by leaders for interfering with climate. A crackdown on mining activity in 2018 drove crypto miners out of the country. On June 21st, the Chinese State Council issued a ban on crypto mining. Miners needed to find new operating areas, and Iran and Kazakhstan seemed suitable. Their electricity demand, however, overstretched the grid, resulting in blackouts and protests in Tehran. 
Iran outlawed Bitcoin mining and other countries, including India, followed suit. Many governments were unwilling to accommodate miners at the risk of inadequate power to light homes and manufacture semiconductors and automobiles. The firms were fired and the globe was shrinking right before their eyes. They settled in Texas after traveling all over the world. The regulatory crackdown covered the Chinese economic and hydroelectric incentives that made it perfect for Bitcoin mining. The companies went to the United States to join local firms, such as Riot Blockchain. Recently, New York became the first state to ban specific forms of cryptocurrency mining in an effort to address concerns about the process's negative environmental effects. New York Governor Kathy Hochul stated in a message after signing the legislation into law on November 22nd that he will ensure that New York remains a center of financial innovation while simultaneously taking crucial actions to prioritize environmental preservation. The new law suspends the issue and renewal of air permits for companies that have converted some of the state's oldest fossil fuel plants into cryptocurrency mining centers. Individual cryptocurrency miners, however, are unaffected by the restriction. The legislation is intended primarily for cryptocurrency mining companies in the state that waste a lot of energy by using proof-of-work authentication, the technique that uses thousands or millions of high-powered computers to track and safeguard Bitcoin and other virtual currency transactions. Mining cryptocurrency can cause detrimental emissions by generating energy from coal, natural gas, and other fossil fuels. Due to the availability of inexpensive energy supplied from Niagara Falls and decommissioned power facilities, upstate New York became a popular hub for digital currency mining after China began cracking down on Bitcoin mining in 2021. So, is New York, Texas set to become the hub for crypto mining? Every miner wants reliable, affordable power with little political intervention where the government will not just shut down the plants. Texas might be able to supply it. Texas energy prices are among the lowest in the world. Bitmain had to put aside $500 million to build a mining site in Alcoa. After the plans fell through, BitDeer took over the unoccupied premises. The state intends to annex property in order to build a 150 megawatt facility. However, there are various roadblocks. For instance, the infrastructure legislation requires miners to record cryptocurrency transactions in the same way that brokerage firms do. Another issue is a power outage, particularly during peak demand. The Texas electricity grid has experienced numerous outages, including the well-known February incident. The installations put a load on the grid and can be counterproductive. To put this in context, the power operator compensates the premises for shutting down the machine during periods of high demand. When China was at the forefront of the mining industry, it was the primary market for Bitcoin mining equipment that was suited for local use. The goal is to increase revenue for miners. Manufacturers are building equipment to be comparable with the Texas environments. Riot Blockchain is developing mining hardware to help them compete with Poolin. Similarly, smaller businesses in Texas can become more competitive by investing in renewable energy. Many mining operations decided to settle for Texas. Fear uncertainty, and doubt have subsided. While Rockdale appears to be the main attraction, the miners also inquire about other locations, such as Almaty. The largest supplies of the Pioneer Satoshi token will come from Texas, thanks to backing from state leadership and a favorable environment and legislation. That's it for today. What do you think about this video? Kindly let me know what you think about this video in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. Also, Hit the bell to receive more updates. See you next time. Thanks for watching.